there's no issues about drinking water or contamination there. Um, the, the, the worst thing that could happen to anybody is if they went down into the woods and fell into one of those gullies. Uh, that was Lynchburg City Manager Kimball Payne back in October talking about the drilling and testing near Deerington Elementary School. Well, this week, crews have been monitoring methane levels on the school's playground, which sits on top of an old landfill. That problem created a unique learning opportunity for students. Dave Walls is live from the school, so Dave, they kind of turned it into an outdoor classroom. And why not, Len? You got a lot of different school subjects in play here. So geologists took time out of their day to show students how they put their math and science skills into action on the job. It's loud. It's starting to get all slimy. It's dirty, and it steps away from their front door. Crews drilling, testing for methane levels in the playground at Deerington Elementary, the site of an old landfill. So while some may see the noise and the mess as a bit of an inconvenience, crews from the city, Draper Aiden, and Lynchburg City Schools decided to put on their hard hats and turn it into a fun learning project for the students. We saw it as a great opportunity to connect the students with real scientists and real engineers. Teacher Tawanda Johnson says the work gave teachers an answer to a timeless question from students. Why do I have to learn this in science? Why do I have to learn this in math? And we want our children to see that what they're learning in school, they will actually use. It is applicable in the real world. If it's not relatable, it's not interesting. Geologist Karen Weber took children through the tools scientists use in the field, both mechanical and mathematical. And it is hard for people to recognize when they're using math. Using math and science daily is a routine both teachers and scientists hope more students continue. We had several students say that they want to become scientists and one girl said she wanted to be an engineer. You know, as a woman in a science and engineering field wearing a hard hat and somebody can see that, then, you know, they might say, well, I can do that too. Teachers here at Deerington say that these fifth grade students have been preparing for this day, studying up on their geology and earth sciences. Tawanda Johnson tells me that she's grateful students had this hands-on experience so close to the classroom. Live in Lynchburg, I'm Dave Walls, ABC 13 News.